Hello, my name is Rebecca DeStefano. I'm an MBA student at Robert Morris University, and today I'll be comparing a traditional and modern corporation, uh, Walmart and Amazon specifically, with respect to use of technology for strategic marketing, customer relationship building and loyalty, uh, and the use of big data and AI uh, with respect to their digital maturity. So Walmart was founded in 1962 by Sam Walton. By 1990, it was the number one retailer in the country with over uh, currently running over 10,000 actual brick and mortar stores, 4,700 in the U.S. and uh, almost 5,200 internationally, 23 different countries. You know, their focus is brick and mortar with some online presence uh, that started in the early 2000s. And their, uh, their mantra from the beginning was sell more for less. Uh, so really low cost options and accessibility to everyone. And for fiscal year 2020, their revenue was 559 billion. Amazon, in contrast, is online store. Um, they were founded in 1994 by Jeff Bezos, and his his really mantra from the beginning was that Amazon is a technology company uh, whose business is to simplify online transactions. Uh, so rather than operating brick and mortar, everything is digital, everything is online. Uh, in 2017, they acquired Whole Foods, which expanded them into grocery, which is a direct competition to, to Walmart and other local grocery stores. Their revenue for 2020 was 386 billion. So the first comparison will be related to their value discipline. Uh, and the types are operational excellence, product leadership, or customer intimacy. And really both focus on operational excellence, which is leading in production and delivery of products and services. Uh, they want to get you what you want um, quickly and easily. And with Walmart, it's accessibility of their locations, um, and how they stock their stores. And with Amazon, it's availability of their online products and how quickly they can deliver those to their customers and how easy their website is to, to navigate to place those orders. Um, with respect to product leadership, uh, I don't think either has their own you know, specific brand. It's really retail and offering different types with Walmart focusing on lower cost options and Amazon kind of running the spectrum. Would say Amazon dabbles in customer intimacy, but it's not their main focus. Uh, looking at market segmentation, geographic, demographic, psychographic, and behavioral, uh, I think what stands out between the two is really behavioral. There are going to be those customers that prefer in-person shopping and physically seeing what they're purchasing, and those that prefer online shopping um, and, and you know receiving packages delivered to their home. You know, the next uh, segmentation that may differentiate between the two would be the psychographic or demographic um, with Walmart emphasizing low cost options and Amazon emphasizing technology uh, with multiple product offerings. And you may see differences between uh, rural leaning more towards Walmart and, and urban leaning more towards Amazon in terms of purchasing and demographics. But I really think it comes down to the behavioral difference between the customers. Um, looking at relationship marketing and their strategy, Amazon has oper or Walmart, excuse me, has operated on Sam Walton's rule number eight of building a business, and it's really let the customer know that you appreciate them. They don't have a loyalty program where you get points or accumulate um, perks for for other options or for cash back or anything like that. It's really low cost offerings, consistent product offerings. Uh, and and the, the rule um, relates back to Walmart always having a greeter at their door. You have someone saying hello, someone offering a shopping cart, someone to welcome you to the store, and someone to say thank you when you leave um, to really let customers know directly face to face that they're appreciated. Uh, and it's, it's very different from, from Amazon's approach, which is very just seamless and streamlined interacting with the app. Uh, and that's they're personalizing it to you based on your order history um, and your preferences and your interaction with the software, not with an actual person. So I think those are the, the two biggest difference. Um, Amazon does have a customer loyalty program, Amazon Prime, but it's not points based. It's not perks based. Um, it's for a fee that gains you access to different options, such as free or discounted shipping, expedited shipping, um, free online streaming um, to different uh, or entertainment options, 
um, and, and perks like that rather than um, any kind of rewards or, or cash back. Uh, Walmart will be launching or did launch Walmart Plus in 2020, which was a combination of their grocery and standard store app um, to allow anyone to order basically anything for pickup online or for delivery, um, as opposed to operating two different platforms for grocery and then for other other options in the store. Um, and that's that's an attempt to, to compete with Amazon. And, and really, again, there's no fee. Uh, it's just a different way to operate and a different way to um allow customers to access more quickly and to directly connect with their customers. Looking at digital transformation between the two and their key event, um, for Walmart, I would say that it was really just increased competition from online retail. So there's a shift from brick and mortar, uh, foot traffic type stores to what you can get online and how convenient that is. And their interpretation of that was really to expand their online presence um, and to improve customer service and convenience. And the action taken is to implement Walmart pickup in 2015. And that's really been, uh, you know, in terms of my friends and family, kind of a game changer for how people are able to shop. Uh, and a lot of more local stores have followed suit where you order everything online and you drive to the store and pick it up and it's loaded in your car. Uh, it's much more convenient than, than, you know, trucking shopping carts through the aisles and waiting in line. Um, so I really think that was their big step forward in terms of convenience and customer service. Uh, again, Amazon, probably similar in terms of what their key event would be with just increased competition from online retail, such as uh, Walmart expanding into that space and local stores expanding into that space. Uh, and their interpretation was to become customer obsessed. It's really pervasive throughout their organization. Uh, while they can't offer, you know, a product that's directly you know, for every customer, they offer such a numerous amount of products. Um, the availability and the convenience is where they where they emphasize. And their action in 2005 was to establish Amazon Prime almost like a club, um, you know, that's in a, a somewhat exclusive club for their customers to keep people engaged with the brand and with Amazon. And that's how they're deciding to shop. Looking at how each of the Stores use AI and big data. Um, I think within their personalized shopping, it's it's pretty similar. Amazon probably is a little bit more um, uh, complex or uh, more customized um, in terms of what they show you as your preferences, uh, what are your tailored web experience, your suggested pur purchases based on your history um, relative to Walmart, but it, but fairly similar. And then they both also have operation and logistics that, that they're implementing big data and AI to help with uh, streamlining those services as well. Walmart has some added complexity because they are operating in store. Um, they're using a AI to actually try to uh, streamline pharmacy orders and checkout lines. So how many are open? What's the workload? How should they schedule workers to avoid really long checkout lines um, and to plan for product assortment that they offer in their stores. Um, so they have a little bit of an added layer of complexity in how they're using their, their big data and their AI. Looking at how digital maturity feeds into their organizational culture, both are hierarchy organizations, both run, you know, top-down leadership structure. Um, Walmart is organized by function. Um, so, you know, maybe there's a potential to be a bit more siloed, uh, which is a step backwards, not really moving forward in terms of digital maturity, where Amazon, though they have very stable leadership, they also operate a lot of small cross-functional teams, which means they're a lot more flexible. Um, so probably a little bit further along in terms of digital maturity for Amazon. Looking at data analytics for their personnel decisions, Walmart does employ AI um, to gather a lot of different data from the, the, the quote that I found, you know, everything's in a central database. AI machine learning software searches for trends, looks at where they're going to need, um, what type of worker, how they should, you know, where they need to recruit, um, what are the key needs for the organization. Amazon initially uh, did try to use AI um, and they had a little bit of a hiccup in 2017, 2018, where um, their AI platform was found to be biased against women. Um, so in that case, they kind of had to retool and pull back and, and not rely on AI as much for personnel decisions right now. Um, so in, in summary, 
While Amazon is a modern technology company, Walmart is certainly making strides in terms of implementing digital technology. Um, Amazon is in the upper echelon in terms of digital maturity, but Walmart is investing in the future. Um, as our readings this week or this the last few weeks have shown, you know, Walmart's approach is indicative of what we're calling digital maturity. Um, and it's in how an organization systematically prepares to adapt consistently to ongoing digital change. They really are looking 10 years ahead. Um, so even though they started a bit behind with um, technology, they're, they're really looking to pick up the pace. And Walmart dominates low-cost retail, um, Black Friday type shopping, and Amazon has invented Prime Day in June to kind of compete with that um, and push people towards online shopping experience. And, um, and though Walmart is not quite as far along, they haven't also haven't had as many pitfalls, um, specifically looking at Amazon's use of a bias AR, AI platform. Um, these are my references for the presentation. Thank you very much.